Hello and welcome back to The Absolute Mom. Today I am taking you along as we reorganize our homeschool items. It is January of 2021. We are still in the same school year, but we are moving the items from where they originally were to the dining room, which is where we end up doing a lot of our school. They'll still stay in the same exact eight cube cubby, but where this cubby was, my husband wants some of his arcade games, and I'm willing to do that. I think it's a fine idea. So while we're moving it, I think it's a really great time to refresh everything, and that way we start the school year really nicely organized again. This is something that I do every few months regardless, because as you know, if you're a homeschool mom, you easily get a lot of clutter. If you have watched my channel for any amount of time, you know that a lot of homeschooling happens right here at the dining room table or at the computer that is in the dining room. This is a very convenient place actually to house all of our items and we use the eight cube cubby and it actually stays very organized. So I feel fine with it being in our main space of living basically. All of this is just from the kids playing outside in the snow. We just keep getting more and more and more snow and ice and they're enjoying it so much. Everything that is up here on the table either fits inside this eight cube or it was on top of the eight cube, which it was becoming a huge mess. So this move couldn't have been at a more perfect time because we needed to go through and declutter stuff. So I'm going to work my way through all this. Some of it will go back. Some of it will go down in our homeschool room in the basement. Over here is our eight cube. And as you could tell, the organization is basically the same as what I have shown you guys in the past. This top row usually stays perfectly organized because it's all my stuff and my fifth grader stuff. So both of us are very good at putting stuff away where it belongs. And then the lower one will have four latch mates across the bottom, one for each kid. They're very, very good about putting them back away on the shelf but what I'm seeing is it's a hot mess inside their latch mates. So usually every few weeks I go through their latch mates and I get it reorganized. So I just got done doing one of my kindergartners over here. And these are all the math manipulatives. So I found some of them weren't going back into the baggies that they belong. So I'm getting those all reorganized also. And I'm just gonna work my way across and do the other kindergartners, the preschoolers, I think up here we've always housed this basket right here that is full of extra stuff. We've always housed it on there that has their laptops, it has all the charger cords, the headphones, um, the Bluetooth speaker. I think that will remain on top because that's a very convenient spot to keep everything organized. And other than that, it's a free for all to figure out what is staying and what is going. All right, so here is my kindergarten girls after I reorganized it. So all their little um, reading books are in here. They're just half page reading books. I'll get one out and show you here. So they're just half page reading books like this. It has just a little sentence on each page. So each um, week they end up doing one of these. And so we just put them in their file folder. And then she has her crayon, she has markers, she has her writing tablet. And then we restarted Explode the Code because they were begging for it. And so that is also in there. And literally that's all she has in there. Up top, she has her little practice clock. She has some glue sticks. This is part of the Bible one. She has her rulers and then all of her Mr. Short, Mrs. Short and Uncle Short is here. Um, she has her little rock that I drew for her with baby Dumbo on it. And then um, I'll make sure she has, I think, three sharpened pencils in here. But I want to double check that they for sure each have three of them so that they're not out looking for it. The only other thing that's going to go in here is they use this hundreds chart all the time. They use this tens and ones frame all the time. And then they refer to this uppercase ABC and the lowercase ABC all the time. So I'm going to make sure those reference sheets are back in there. And then her little book folder is back in there. 
and she is all ready to get closed up. So I pulled out any trash that she had in her little bin. I pulled out all her completed work from this past week that I need to get filed away. And then her folder file that has her five days worth of activities I need to stuff. I didn't stuff it before our break, at which I usually always do, but life happened, we got busy. Um, so I'm gonna stuff that today so that it's all ready to go fresh. All right, so out of her bin also, all the math manipulatives, some of them were scattered all around, like the money one wasn't put away or anything. Um, she had this random plate, this random coloring sheet, and then this random coloring book. So all that stuff is not school stuff, it's coming out. She has extra reference sheets, which tells me that probably her twin brother doesn't have them in his. All right, we are going to take a peek and see what he has in his. So this is his clipboard that I restock every single week. So that's just gonna get put up for now so that I can get that restocked for him and ready to go for the next school day. He doesn't need the paper plate. He does not need a construction piece of paper. And then um, this is actually my preschooler's paper. It's not even his. So I'm gonna get that on her folder. All right, let's see how messy his is. He's a little bit more organized usually on a regular basis. So we'll see if this is true. Um, so these are stuff that they didn't get completed this last day I'm seeing. So I do need to get that one onto their clipboards. Um, but otherwise I'll make a pile of completed. See his little books are everywhere. So I'm going to get those where they belong. Make sure that he gets three pencils. Um, he has one of our letter cards in his, so I'm going to put that back up on the side of the fridge where it belongs. Um, he has paint in here, which I'm fine with. I will pull all his sheets that are done and get those filed away. He has his file folders everywhere his writing tablet. He has a lot of those letter cards in here. So his is actually like pretty unorganized compared to how it is. I think just at the end we were on a long run and we were a little bit burnt out and we wanted to get done. So um, I'm gonna get his all organized. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life This reminds me, Brooklyn needs her pairs of scissors back into hers and then Beckett's missing his Explode the Code V so we need to get that back in here Thank you. So I have Brooklyn's scissors that I need to get put away. He was missing his Explode the Code B. We found that. So that gets back in there. His handwriting book gets back in there. I think I have all of his books back in this. So that's ready to go. All his crayons are in the correct spot. His markers are upstairs in his room. Um, so I'll have him grab those shortly. All right, so he needs a hundreds chart and he needs a tens and one frame. Um, I don't know exactly where his ABC uppercase and lowercase sheet is. I'm pretty sure it's probably over here in this pile, so I'll make sure that gets in there. I set up both of their latch mates exactly the same so that when we're looking for something, we know if it's on the underneath or on this top little caddy area. All right, I found his ABC uppercase and lowercase. So we're gonna get that put away. His file folder is here. I put back all the empty envelopes. Um, this is all his completed work from last week. So I'm going to pull that out to get it all filed away. And I'm going to restock this for the coming week. Now all my fifth grader stuff is organized, my teacher stuff and the kindergartner stuff. This is their manipulatives and their cubes, their Unifix cubes that they use. 
and over here we have Unifix cubes. So I'll consolidate those together and get them all back in the bin and they need to go find the lid for it. This is all the trash that was in just their two latch mates, um, their Bible they usually just put next to the latch mates. And this is all of their supplies that I need to get filed away for the last week and stuff that I need to plan for this week. So he had three of our letter cards in his file. So I am going to get those back exactly where they belong over here on the fridge. I have this little hanging caddy that is absolutely perfect size for these to go in. So they send you all your letter cards, but then they also send you um, word cards. Let me find them here. So all of your sight word cards too which is very helpful that we could just pull them out and kind of work on them as we need. And then this is their Dottie reading card. So they know when they need a card, it's right up here. They don't get bent up and lost that way. And one day she said, write me a love song. Cause I know you'll make it beautiful. And maybe I'll call you my sweet. So I'm just trying to get out of here anything that does not belong. I do like this basket because their laptops fit perfectly in there and it keeps everything in the correct space. It also keeps us accountable to know when they're on them so that they're not on them at nighttime or anything such as that. So as you could tell, a lot of things have definitely been shoved in here that does not belong. And they are the most random of things also. Baby, I only want you. All right, so this is all the random stuff that I got out of there. We have some car window details. Um, we have some coloring books. We have a gift card somehow. Um, some of their reward tickets, puzzle pieces, lip gloss, eraser, color pencil, crayons, pencil, or pens and even a Nerf bullet that they probably shot across the room and it landed in there. So now what all is in there is three of their laptops, a mouse pad, a mouse that can get connected, um, all their chargers, headphones, and then we like a Bluetooth speaker so that when we do songs and things all together, we can just kind of put that on so everybody can hear. So that is all organized now. All right, so back to the latch mates, now that we have this all organized, I am going to work on Kenzie's, which is the preschoolers. So she had recently started Explode the Code also, I guess they're get ready and get set and begin the code, I think is what they're called. Um, but we just call them Explode the Code. So she had recently started A, she absolutely loves it. So I'm gonna make sure this gets in her latch mate so we know where it's at. This is that random paper that was in her kindergarten brother's latch mate. And then this is the file folder that I do all of her planning for at one time. All right, hers is probably a mess. She is the messiest of all of the kids. And she just has so much fun with everything and doesn't want to pick it up. <laughs> so um, I'll make sure she has glue. I see that she has no pencils in here at all. So I'll get that all organized for her. Um, looks like she needs scissors back in here. And she has, I'm going to show you. She is so messy, but she is very, very good at coming and grabbing what she needs. So she was learning about Indians, Native Americans before we went on break. So this is a little teepee that she colored and has. Um, she made a little officer badge with the kindergartners. This is her little journal. She has a notebook she just likes to color in. She has so much in here. Here's her clipboard, some Peppa Pig coloring stuff. So yeah, I think her stuff is just going to take a little bit longer to get through than the other kids because she she just keeps everything. Then I am considering using these little things to hold manipulatives, but I need to see how the sizes work out. I'm not quite sure why she has two of these in her bin, but that's how she works. All right, let's organize this. The other thing I just thought of and grabbed real quick so I don't forget is this little math book that we got clearanced out at our local um, bookstore. 
I'm going to put this in. So she just started that this this weekend. So she just turned four in October and she's a little bit bored with preschool, a little bit beyond what they're doing. But at the same time, I don't feel like maturity wise, she's a thousand percent ready for kindergarten. She will be doing kindergarten in the fall. We have full plans of moving her forward onto kindergarten. Um, so she wanted more actual like workbooks. So we're going to be doing this one. We're going to be doing more Explode the Code. And the only thing I really want from her before I move her on to kindergarten is to get her letter sounds and letter recognition down. So we are going to focus on that on the second half of her preschool year. All right, so we got to the bottom of her bin. There actually wasn't much trash in there, which really surprised me because I thought there would be. Um, so a lot of it was just her completed work. So for her, her completed work all goes into this yellow folder. So I put that all there. Any work that is coming up, I put on her clipboard because chances are I need that for this next week worth of planning. Somehow or another, she had a couple of the kindergartners manipulatives in her bin. So I'm gonna get that back to the kindergartners. So one thing I really need to figure out is she has all these cute little things that go with nursery rhymes that she has um, done. And I need to figure out how I want to organize these items. Um, some of them, like these lambs, she does refer back to in the lessons. So they're counting, they're, they're learning to recognize the numbers and to go bigger. And so um, these I'll probably put in a Ziploc bag and put back into her little bin. Um, I need to, she has no scissors. I think she needs another glue stick in here. She doesn't have any pencils. So I need to get her three sharpened pencils. Um, here is more puppets that she had made that I feel like I can put into the work completed folder. And then the stuff I do want in her bin. So these originally were in a Ziploc bag, but they fit perfectly into one of these bins. So that's gonna go back in her bin her explode the code is going in there this is what i'm going to be doing all of the planning for the week so i'm going to put it over here with her clipboard and her completed work she is going to have a notebook back in her bin her writing notepad back in her bin and her math workbook back in her bin and so all this was just extra games and stuff that she had put in there on her own. And so that will just go into a fun box for her. All right, I just need to finish organizing this section and she's done also. So this is where our homeschool stuff was before and these two arcade games just took it over. So if you hear stuff in the background, it's these kids. All right, it's super loud in here, but an update is all this stuff here on the end is going into our little storage area for crafts and arts. Um, it's stuff that we need on a pretty regular basis, but we have organized areas down in the basement. This I'm in between on whether it's going in the basement or not. It holds like all our extra papers and stuff. And I might put that by our printer in the living room. Um, these are going downstairs also. These are all extra resources that we do use. So we will find a spot up here. This is some activities that we're going to be doing here really soon. So I'm going to keep those out. This is everything I need to plan for this week and restock all their papers. So that will be going back in their latch mates here as soon as I get that done. These two are donations. This is just my daughter's 3D puzzle. So that'll be gone by the end of the night. I'm getting ready to put away all of the winter stuff because it's all dry. So here is what we have. This big pile over here was all trash stuff. I did not think we had much trash, but we definitely did. So I need to get that picked up. And then I left it organized exactly how we had it in the other room because it was working so well for us. So I went through absolutely everything in the latch mates. I know what's in there. They're all prepared. There's nothing extra. And then up top here, 
I had shown you guys already the electronics bin. I found my daughter's ear pods, and so I put those in there. These are the books we're working on. So the twins are reading Hop on Pop. Our read aloud right now is Who Was Thomas Jefferson and the Indian in the Cupboard. And then we got our new daily devotions that I showed in one of my recent vlogs. We just got this from Sam's Club and we really like it. So it says God loves me every day. It's Veggie Tales. It says it's for girls. They had a boy one too, but they were exactly the same. Um, it's nice, short, and sweet. And then we are working on in the back they have... Um, some verses and stuff so we are working on memorizing these verses one by one so the kids really really love that they do watch veggie tales and so it makes it more interesting for them and then over here is just our little writing utensil section basically so all the pencils and we usually go through these and resharpen them to make sure they're ready to grab and go a stapler we usually use that at least four times a week and so I feel like it's worth being up here these have little manipulatives in them our colored pencils we have gone through so many of those this school year we started with two of these completely packed full and we're down to one luckily great grandma just got us more colored pencils so I can restock some tape some post-it notes I love post-it notes and we use them um, as page markers too and then great grandma also just got us a refill of these Crayola crayons so we had one of these already and the kids went through all the crayons slash the dog ate half the crayons so she restocked us with crayons also so here it is now in our dining room we will see how we like it dad took over with the arcade we'll see how we like that also and go from there and as you can see to homeschool i'm homeschooling four kids full time and you don't need much space this is less than six foot um, it's in our main living area and that's all you need you don't need to take up much space all right i'm going to clear off the rest of this table and we will be done all right, so we are completely done. The table is all ready for supper. I did all of the homeschool planning. Um, this stuff up here on the fireplace, none of it will be staying. It will find a new home. And then this down here will find a new home also, but she's currently in the middle of the activity. So here is the new homeschool place for all our stuff. Everything's organized and ready to go to restart school of 2021. Let me know, how often do you reorganize all your supplies? Do you go through it every week and keep it organized? Do you wait until it's completely ramshackled six months into school? Let me know how you keep organized.